In this video we'll prove the triangle inequality, uh, which is a very important and often used inequality and follows directly from our previous results about absolute values. Let's first review the definition of an absolute value. So if x is an element of an ordered field f, then we say that the absolute value of x is x if x is greater than 0, 0 if x is equal to 0, and the additive inverse of x if x is less than 0. And we previously proved this theorem here uh, with five little results about absolute values. For the proof of the triangle inequality, we'll just use the second part of this theorem um, that if A is an element of a field F, then minus absolute value of A is less than or equal to A, and A is less than or equal to the absolute value of A. So the triangle inequality says that if F is an ordered field and A and B are elements of F, then the absolute value of the sum of a and b is less than or equal to the sum of the absolute values of a and b. So to prove that, let's assume that f is an ordered field, and let's assume that a and b are elements of f. Um, by that second part of the theorem that we just showed, we know that a is bounded between its negative absolute value and its positive absolute value, and b is bounded between its negative absolute value and its positive absolute value. So we can just add those inequalities, and on the left-hand side we'll get uh, minus quantity absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. In the middle we'll get A plus B, and on the right-hand side we get absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. So we get that minus quantity absolute value of A plus absolute value of B is less than or equal to A plus B, which is less than or equal to the absolute value of A plus the absolute value of B. And then we can apply a common trick. We can multiply this inequality by minus 1, and on the left-hand side, minus, ap minus quantity absolute value of A plus absolute value of B becomes positive absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. The less than or equal to becomes a greater than or equal to. The A plus B becomes minus quantity A plus B, and the absolute value of A plus absolute value of B becomes minus quantity absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. And of course, we can write that as uh, with less than or equals to 2's as minus quantity absolute value of A plus absolute value of B is less than or equal to minus quantity A plus B, which is less than or equal to absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. Okay, so we know that both plus and minus A plus B is between minus quantity absolute value of A plus absolute value of B and absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. In other words, minus quantity absolute value of A plus absolute value of B is less than or equal to plus or minus quantity A plus B, which is less than or equal to absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. And that of course implies that minus quantity absolute value of A plus absolute value of B is less than or equal to the absolute value of A plus B, which is less than or equal to the absolute value of A plus the absolute value of B, and from that the triangle inequality follows. Absolute value of the sum of A plus B is less than or equal to absolute value of A plus absolute value of B. And that concludes this proof of the triangle inequality. Thanks for listening.